What's up fellas? Welcome to the garage. Well, we have some issues with the Sierra. I recently noticed that the Sierra was running on five cylinders only. One cylinder wasn't firing. So I of course went through the standard procedure. I checked the spark plug, the voltage supply to the injectors and also measured the compression. The cylinder that wasn't firing was cylinder number six. After passing all the other tests, I was left with nothing but to pull the injectors out and test the injector for proper functionality. The injectors that were installed was some 750 cc injectors from a company named KSM Motorsports on eBay. They were advertised as flow matched and even though I did flow test them in a sense <laughs> very poorly they seemed okay and I just plugged them in. I was kind of in a time crunch as, as we had a track day coming. I pretty much just put them in and uh, that was it. And I will be first to admit I f***ed up. In actuality those weren't flow matched at all as I found out when I pulled them out and properly flow tested them. The flow results of four injectors were actually very close to each other and I would be perfectly fine with that but injector of cylinder number three was as I've calculated a couple of percent less flowing and the cylinder number six that was the one that wasn't firing was actually flowing 15 percent more than the average so I came to conclusion of course that the cylinder number six was getting way too much fuel and therefore wasn't firing at all I will say that in a sense I got kind of lucky that one injector was actually flowing too much fuel and not way too little fuel because if that would happen we would be likely to melt a piston or something. Also let's say we didn't really push the engine really hard that's another kind of lucky circumstance in this case. So even though I have recommended these injectors and this company before I will actually advise you against buying anything from them because the injectors aren't really flow matched thinking about it they aren't that much cheaper than a set of bosch injectors for example but yeah you know i tried to cut the expenses as much as i could but i did learn my lesson one more thing about the ksm motorsports i have to let you know that even after contacting them they didn't even reply to my email so let's say we won't be cooperating no more so anyways, with the racing season approaching day by day, I didn't hesitate and just ordered a pack of original Bosch injectors. At least I really hope those are original Bosch injectors. Here they are. Here are a bunch of other injectors I have here. I've checked them, but uh, they are all too small, you know, they aren't flowing enough. But these are some proper Bosch injectors. Those are set to be 600 cc, I think, at uh, three bar of pressure. They have some original stickers on. At least they seem pretty legit. But as I said, I learned my lesson and I will be actually testing those as well. So that's about the Sierra situation we have here. So how are we gonna actually measure the static and dynamic flow of these injectors? Check this out. So this is my brand new freshly made flow test bench. Let me quickly show you around. It actually consists of a fuel rail off of a Volvo 2.4 gasoline engine of course. I've secured the injectors with these clips here. I actually made them out of these clips that I modified, you know, I just flattened them. Those are from Mazda 2 liter engine and I actually just made them flat and then just use some zip ties to hold them in. So that's it, this is a fuel return. If we go here around the back, this is our fuel reservoir. Here inside lays the pump. 
which pushes the gasoline here through the filter and then through the fuel rail. This here is the fuel return. Here I got a Ford fuel pressure regulator, which regulates the fuel pressure here to three bar. I got here the pressure gauge to show me exactly if we are as set on three bar. And of course we got some Bosch electrical plugs here to go on the injectors and those graduated cylinders here. If we go here in the back again, here I got two clamps, of course, this one is for the plus terminal on the battery and this one is of course for the ground. Here I got the fuel pump wiring going through this switch here and of course a fuse just to be safe. So that's about it. I've also taken this ground wire and the plus 12 volt wire through this fuse to power our ECU here. This, of course, is Pidoino ECU. We use these ECUs for all of our builds. So the way injectors are wired, they have a constant 12 volt and the ECU actually grounds them through these wires here and therefore opens them. This is here then connected to my computer. And for this test, we'll be actually using this test output hardware functionality in Tuner Studio. Speeduino in the basic form like this has four injector channels. So we are able to test four injectors at a time. Today I'll be actually using only three channels because I only have three graduated cylinders of the same volume. And to make things easier, I have six injectors to test anyways. So I'll be testing them three at a time. So now I'll actually put in here my brand new Bosch injectors and then we'll carry on with the flow test. Okay, so let's see how these bad boys look like. Those actually originally come fitted in a Porsche 3.5. You know what, if you already have this authentication codes, let's go ahead and check them, as the box here says. Okay, it says congratulations, the code you entered is correct. So. Let's just go through all of them and just, you know, just make sure. Now let's secure them so those suckers don't pop out. Alright, looking good. So first things first, we're gonna put the clamps on the battery we have here. Then we're gonna start the pump to see if any of the injectors is leaking maybe. Or if we have any other leaks in the system. Okay, we're sitting at 3 bar here, so that is perfect. Everything looking just fine so far. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. Here I have a ground switch to the ECU. The ECU is actually powered by USB cable here already. But here, with the help of this switch, we're gonna actually trigger all the injectors at the same time. When we give the ECU the connection to the ground, the injector will start to open. So here's how we're gonna do this in Tuner Studio. We can go here to Hardware Testing, 
test output hardware and we're gonna enable test mode here first of all let me show you here if I switch on the switch here we have battery voltage of 12.6 volts at the minute so let's switch this off for now we're gonna go to hardware testing output hardware and enable test mode here we can test all the outputs spark outputs and also the injectors here if we turn on the here we have two options we have pulsed or 100% duty cycle. We're gonna use the 100% duty cycle option to measure the actual maximum flow of the injectors. But we're gonna use this pulsed to dynamically test the injectors. This would be at low RPM and lower loads. So we're gonna actually perform both of those tests. We're gonna call this dynamic and this one static. To measure the static flow, we're gonna actually measure the time elapsed between injectors being open. Just like that, we're gonna actually get the maximum flow of these injectors at three bar, of course. So of course, first things first, we're gonna start the fuel pump. Here, the pressure is established. Now we can proceed with the injector test. We're gonna actually turn on all these three channels but the injectors aren't firing so far here's where our switch comes into play now i'm gonna flick this switch and injectors will start opening at 30 hertz as here is the frequency is stated so let's do this We are not really concerned with the time elapsed in this dynamic test. The thing we're most interested in is the difference between the injectors. So let's see the results. This one is uh, 96, this one is 95, this one is also 95. So that's around 1% difference. This is totally acceptable by the way. Of course the most accurate way of testing this would be to test six injectors at a time. We could actually measure the time as well, those being pulsed, and then repeat this pulsing for the same time on the other three injectors. But the possibility of three of them being together in terms of flow and the other randomly picked three would be the same for themselves is really slim to none. So this is perfectly fine in terms of evaluating the equality of flow here. Let's repeat this test. The results are in 94 94 and again good 94 these are very good results and pretty much as i would expect from original set of bosch injectors so that's great okay let's go static test we're gonna make this very easy for ourselves i'm gonna actually hold the injectors open for exactly 10 seconds then we're gonna simply see the results here and then just multiply the result here by six of course 60 seconds in one minute right that way we're gonna come up with exact cc per minute result easy actually when we are using the injectors it really isn't recommended to run them higher than 90 percent duty cycle but for the testing purposes this is perfectly fine okay static test let's go Okay, 10 seconds, 0, 0.5, close enough. Okay, so here are the results, 82, 81, 82 milliliters. So again, very consistent readings. Okay, so we got 82 times 6, right, to get in minutes equals 492 at 3 bar. I think those are actually rated 600 cc per minute but i guess this is at four bar so so in very less likely case we ran out of fuel we could simply just replace the regulator for four bar and up this number here
All right, very good and very, very promising. Now I got some more work to do. I have to repeat the tests a couple of times just to ensure the results are indeed correct. And then I will repeat the whole process on the remaining three injectors. But having seen the results so far, I am very confident those injectors will pass my flow test here with flying colors. Once everything is tested and confirmed, I will go ahead and install them in the Sierra. Of course, I will have to adapt everything in the software but this will have to wait till the next episode. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Be good!